we're going to be talking about the clavicle. As you can see here from this side view, this is an S-shaped bone. It's going to form the strut between the anterior thorax and the upper limb, forming the important acromioclavicular joint. The S-shaped portion of the bone is what's referred to as the body of the clavicle. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as the shaft of the clavicle. The thinnest part of the bone is found at the midpoint of the body. This is a clinically important area because this is an area of frequent fracture. And generally what will happen is that you'll have a downward displacement of this lateral end of the bone. Now we're going to talk about the medial end of the clavicle. Show you a medial view. You can see that it's quite rounded, circular. It's going to be more bulbous than what you have on the lateral end. This is going to articulate with the manubrium of the sternum and form the sternoclavicular joint, which is a type of synovial saddle joint. Now looking at the lateral end, you see that it is distinct in the fact that it's going to be flattened and more tapered. It's not nearly as circular or bulbous as what you have in the medial end. This is going to articulate with the acromion of the scapula, forming the acromioclavicular joint, which is an important joint in terms of shoulder separation. This is a type of plain synovial joint.